Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use FFmpeg on your Windows 11 operating system. So for those of you who don't know what is FFmpeg, FFmpeg is a tool which is a cross-platform tool for recording, converting and streaming your audio and video files. So for example, using FFmpeg, you can convert one format of uh, video to another format. For example, you can convert MP4 to AVI file. You can also com convert MP4 file to MP3 files. So you can do many uh, stuff using FFmpeg. So let's see how we can download and use it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for FFmpeg. And the first link which will appear here will be from FFmpeg.org. So I'm going to click on this link. And here you will be able to uh, learn more about uh, this uh, FFmpeg library. Now in order to download the FFmpeg on your Windows 11 operating system, you can either click on this download uh, section here or you can click on the download button which is visible on the main page. So I'm going to click on this download uh, button here. Now as you can see uh, download source code and download PGP signing key. We don't want to uh, download either of them. We want to just uh, move down here and then here we need to click on the windows icon. So I'm going to click on the windows icon here and once you click on the windows icon you will be able to see uh, these two builds here. So windows builds from uh, gyan.dev and windows build by btbn i'm going to click on the first link which is windows build from gyan.dev so i'm going to click on this link which is going to redirect me to uh, this uh, website and from here i can uh, scroll down from here i can see that i can uh, download this 7-zip file for uh, ffmpeg essential and i can also download the 7-zip file for ffmpeg uh, full version but I want to download the zip file so if you don't have the 7 zip uh, tool which is a tool using which you can extract 7 zip files then I will recommend you to click on this link which says uh, gyan.dev ffmpeg builds uh, ffmpeg git github so just click on this which is going to redirect us to the github repository and from here you can see you have the option to download the zip file so i'm going to download the zip file for the full build so i'm going to click on this uh, uh, version which says ffmpeg full build at the last and then dot zip so i'm going to click on this so you can see it's around 136 meg megabyte file so i'm going to wait for the download to complete so once this zip file is downloaded just go to the location where it's downloaded let me minimize this browser so first of all, I'm going to extract this file, right click and then click on extract all, which is going to extract this file at your desired location. So right click on this zip file and then click on extract all, which is going to extract this to your desired location. So I'm going to extract this to my C drive. So let me uh, just uh, do this. So I'm going to choose C drive and then click on select and then click on extract, which is going to extract this uh, zip file into my C drive. So once this zip file is extracted, I can see in my C drive, uh, this folder is created. So what I generally like to do is, I generally like to uh, make this shorter. So I can just right click here and then uh, rename the folder name to just FFmpeg. You can leave it as uh, it is, but uh, my preference is like this. So I just, uh, uh, rename this to ffmpeg and then I can use this uh, library right so when you go inside this ffmpeg directory and then go inside this bin directory you will be able to see this ffmpeg.exe file now first of all uh, before using it we will uh, set the environment variable for this ffmpeg binary file so that we can use this anywhere from our command line right so i'm going to just copy the path here and then i'm going to just search for environment variables okay so just search for environment variables 
when you type first few letters of environment you will be able to see uh, this option which says edit the system environment variables so i'm going to click on this which is going to open this kind of window here click on environment variables and then under system variables click on path variable and then double click on it otherwise you can click on edit also here i'm going to just uh, provide a new variable so click on new and then paste the path which you have copied in my case it's c colon backslash ffmpeg backslash bin so you need to copy the path until the bin folder okay so copy the path until the bin folder where your ffmpeg.exe file is there once you have set the path click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok and now we are ready to use ffmpeg so first of all uh, i'm going to open my command prompt so just uh, type cmd in the search uh, bar here and then open the command prompt and once command prompt is open here you can test ffmpeg by just typing ffmpeg uh, here and then hyphen version and then press enter and if it shows you this kind of result then ffmpeg is working on your windows 11 operating system so now let me clear this uh, command from cls i think and now let's say i have uh, this video file which is the sample.mp4 let me just uh, show the extension also so you can go to the view section and then click on show and then click on file name extension and then you will be able to see the extension here this is a sample.mp4 file. First of all, you can cd to this uh, directory in your command prompt. So you can uh, just type cd and then uh, uh, the name of the directory. In my case, it's a video inside my user directory. And then I can convert this uh, sample.mp4 to, uh, let's say, avi file. So I'm going to just write ffmpeg here and then hyphen i and the name of my source file which is sample.mp4 and then the name of my destination file so i can name it anything for example output dot avi so a dot avi will be the format of the output file i'm going to press enter here and it's going to start processing this file and i can also see uh, here that this output dot avi file is uh, created but still you need to wait for this process to finish you can see it's processing this uh, video and you can see uh, how much time uh, of the video has been processed so just wait for this process to complete once this uh, file is processed i can see uh, that everything is done and i can once again uh, see that i can give the next command so now i can go to the folder where i have uh, processed this file so this is the output.avi file and this was the input which i have given which was sample.mp4 and it's going to work fine on your windows 11 operating system right so this is the same file but i have changed the extension of this file using ffmpeg so this is how you can download and install and use ffmpeg on your windows 11 operating system I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.